Jean Sylvain Bailey was a French astronomer, mathematician, Freemason, and political leader of the early part of the French Revolution. He presided over the tennis court host, served as the mayor of Paris from 1789 to 1791, and was ultimately guillotined during the Reign of Terror. Scientific career Born in Paris, Bailey was the son of Jacques Bailey, an artist and supervisor of the Louvre, and was the grandson of Nicolas Bailey also an artist and a court painter. As a child he originally intended to follow in his family tradition and pursue a career in the arts, but he became deeply attracted to science, particularly astronomy, by the influence of Nicolas de Lacaille, an excellent student with her particularly retentive memory and inexhaustible patience. He calculated an orbit for the next appearance of Halley's Comet, and correctly reduced Lacai's observations of 515 stars. He participated in the construction of an observatory at the Louvre. For such achievements he was elected to the French Academy of Sciences in 1763. Scientific papers Bailey published his essay on the theory of the satellites of Jupiter in 1766, or an expansion of a presentation he had made to the Academy in 1763. It was followed up in 1771 by a noteworthy dissertation on the inequalities of light of the satellites of Jupiter, being in 1778. He was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Bailey also gained a high literary reputation by his elegies of King Charles V of France, Lacaille, Molière, Pierre Cornet and Gottfried Leibniz which were issued in collected form in 1770 and 1790. He was admitted to the Académie Française on 26 February 1784, and to the Académie des Inscriptions in 1785, when Bernard Lebovia de Fontenelle's simultaneous membership of all three academies was renewed in him. From then on, Bailey devoted himself to the history of science, publishing A History of Ancient Astronomy c. in 1775 followed by A History of Modern Astronomy, d. Other works include Discourse on the Origin of the Sciences, e. Discourse on Plato's, Atlantide, f and a. Treatise on Indian and Oriental Astronomy, g. Though his works were, universally admired, by contemporaries. Later commentators have remarked that, their erudition was, marred by speculative extravagances. The lunar crater Bailey was named in his honor. During the French Revolution, the revolution interrupted his studies. Elected deputy from Paris to the Estates General, he was elected inaugural president of the National Assembly, and led the famous proceedings in the tennis court, being the first to take the tennis court oath. Shortly after the storming of the Bastille he became the first mayor of Paris under the newly adopted system of the Commune. Mayor of Paris when Louis XVI made his momentous visit to the Hôtel de Ville to endorse the revolution. Bailey presented him with the new symbol of the revolution, the tricolour cockade. Along with the Marquis de Lafayette, he is considered the indisputable hero of the early days of the revolution. In his function as mayor, he was attacked by Camille Desmoulins and Jean-Paul Marat as too conservative. He continuously sought to promote the authority of the mayor while limiting the power of the General Assembly of the Commune. One of his actions in this position was to secure, with others, and in the face of threats and ridicule, the passage of a decree of 27 September 1791, which declared Jews to be French citizens, with all rights and privileges. This decree repealed the special taxes that had been imposed on the Jews, as well as all the ordinances existing against them. The dispersal by the National Guard, under his orders, of the riotous assembly in the Champ de Mars made him extremely unpopular, and he retired to Nantes, where he composed his memoirs D.U.N. Tamoin, an incomplete narrative of the extraordinary events of his public life. He was replaced as mayor by Jerome Pechon. Execution in July 1793, Bailey left not to join his friend Pierre-Simon Laplace at Milan, but was there recognized and arrested. He was pressed to testify against Marie Antoinette, but he refused. He was brought before the Revolutionary Tribunal in Paris, sp. 
speedily tried and sentenced to death the next day. On 12 November he was guillotined at the Champs de Mars, a site selected symbolically as the location of his great betrayal of the democratic movement. He was forced to endure the freezing rain and the insults of a howling mob.